top three tips to ensure that your business and website is GDPR compliant. So GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulation. It's a new regulation that replaces the old DPD in 1995, which was put together. DPD stands for Data Protection Directive, which was put together to ensure that data, personal data of citizens in the EU was protected. So here are the three tips on how you can make sure that your website and business is compliant with the new GDPR regulations. Tip number one, ensure that on all your, how, how you're getting information from new uh, prospects, from new leads, any personal data you're collecting from your website, ensure that you have a check box somewhere on your forms to ensure that they have to tick and they understand that that data is going to be stored by you and will, you will be contacting them further. Tip number two, ensure that you have a, a data protection policy on your website. You can go around the web. There are different companies that sell data protection policies that will, you know, you put in your co company details and, and so much more and they will give you the correct uh, data protection policy. Step three, if you already have a system, so let's say you have a database of emails of clients or phone numbers, etc., whichever way you store information of data, ensure that you send out an email or reach out to them by text or some form so that they can uh, opt in, re-opt back into your system, to, which means then they're giving you permission to continue to talk to them because after May 25th, 2018, you have to ensure that anyone you contact you they they understand that you're contacting for what for exactly for what and that um they, they you have to be able to show that this person has opt in so they, they have given you permission so it's really important that you you are your business is gdpr compliant because there are fines up to six figures over 100 grand to um, seven figures and much more depending on your size of business so any business you need to ensure that you you have to be compliant as long as you operate a business in the European Union that collects data, sorry, as long as you operate a business in, in, in that collects data in the European Union, personal data of people in the European Union, you have to be compliant. Guys, Glenda here from Mr. Marketing. I hope that tip has helped you. Make sure you download our simple checklist, the GDPR checklist that we've given you. We've put together compliant, saved you time. We've put together 11, 11 key points that you need to consider when making take an action to ensure that your business and website is GDPR compliant. Looking forward to hearing from you guys. Talk to you soon.